welcome back to me doing a reaction thing to Hunter Hunter. Today I'll be doing episode 37, and um, as I stated in the last video, I was very disappointed in that fight, or at least the payoff between Hisuka and Gon. I guess I was expecting a little bit much more uh, fireworks, you know. I, I guess <laughs> Hisuka's orgasm there was probably more than enough, um, but I don't know. I feel like a little bit more would have been great, but I can't complain because at least I'm patient enough to await, you know, the, the next uh, second coming or whatever of, oh my god, no pun intended with Hisuka. Um, you know, the next meeting of these characters and, and how will, you know, that wane into the show. Now, of course, now we're moving forward. Heaven's Arena is done with. It seems like Gon said he wants to go visit his old, uh, his old village, his, his hometown. Kilua is tagging along. Uh, I feel like we're going to get these epilogue moments of um, for this particular arc so we can get into, uh, I believe, Season 3. And uh, Season 3, I'm sure, is going to pick up because it's called The Phantom Troop. Um, so I'm excited for that. So I guess for the meantime, let's enjoy these little softer moments for the, for the meantime because I'm sure the show is going to get dark. So, all right, let's do it. Let's do uh, the reaction. All right, uh, here we go. Um, they're at, <laughs> they're at God's house. <coughs> I wonder if we'll get, like, some sort of story about God's father. <laughs> Whoa. Subtle. Catch other saying grace. <laughs> you know what is that? Are they eating like meatballs? Oh, yeah, Sausages? I don't know what that is. Look, this is a oh, he's teaching Kilua how to fish. That's a big fish. Oh my god! Look at the uh, animals run. They gotta eat. Yeah. Oh, those squ the squirrels and the bunnies. Food for them. I think they got food. It's fine. Hanging out That's interesting. He's got to find his thing. Where did that come from? Whale Island's an outpost. It's where fishermen stay when they're at sea long tide. Not a lot of people who live here are natives. There is a girl around my age, but I just never got to know her very well. So you're kind of my first friend. My same age and everything. Huh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Being stuck in the house all day and spending all my time learning how to kill people. Dog. That's one for elbow. I do too, so I think we should stick together. Hmm. Let's travel around and see old books. I'll look for something to do. But in the meantime, I'll have you find your dog. <laughs> hmm. oh. I forgot. You never told me what your mom does. <laughs> yeah, you're. Wait, I thought. Huh? It's hard to ask about my dad, but asking about my mom's even harder. It's just that since Aunt Nito raised me all by herself. Wait, that girl is his aunt? I thought it was his sister. <laughs> Alright, I'm sensing some sort of anime trope here. If the father became a hunter, can you imagine someone who targeted him? And may have targeted his family? And maybe that's how his mom died? Not a little tropey, but... Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's still alive. Maybe about a month. And after that, I'm thinking about going to look for my dad. 
Oh. Uh -huh. Daddy left you a box. I'll tell you all I know about Jean. Welcome. Jean is my cousin. My first memory of him oh. was years back. I ran after him everywhere he went. So your auntie is more is your cause it. Subtle, right? Like, what do you want? So we argued. Rather, I was the only one doing all the arguing. But I never got to see Jean again before he packed up and left. Originally, you were told your parents died in a traffic accident, right? That was actually what happened to Mito's parents. Oh. oh. It happened not long after Jean left the island. After that, Jean's dad went on a fishing trip and then just mysteriously disappeared. In the end, I lost both of my sons in a very short time. Oh, that's sad. Wait, that, that's your real that's grandma? Sad. <laughs> now, as I was saying, I knew he couldn't rely on Jean to raise you by himself. Anyway, we really don't know anything so about So maybe they're not even related. Ito even yelled, don't you ever come back here, as she was crying and everything. Please, Grandma! Where was I? Oh yes, that's when Jean left this little box with us. Oh. This girl, she tried to throw it away so many times. Well, so interesting, who so is his mama? Why is she insinuating? It was almost like you didn't want to be fun. You know, animes and making cousins date each other. Okay, he's gonna break it. No use. This thing's not normal. I could just open a regular steel box, no problem. Hmm. And since we have no idea what's inside, we can't exactly smash it, can we? It doesn't make a sound. Hmm. I wonder what's inside the box. Like, what a map? Yeah, that's what I heard. A ladder. Ren? Hey, you're right. Oh, no, never mind. Except there's no opening for the card, so that can't be it. No, not that. And then Ren, Ben, Ben. Oh. He goes back to the card. So he was right about the card. A cassette tape? Ring? That pattern's on the back of the ring, too. You should be real careful before you try putting it on, okay? You think Jean would try to do something to me? Better safe than sorry. Well, we can start by listening to the cassette tape. Guess so. Oh, can you copy it first? Yeah, sure. But why? Better safe than sorry. Well, Kilo's kind of smart about copying it. Question for you. Do you want 
What? What are you, freaking John Cena? Why do the birds stop, like, the nosy-ass birds? Alright, let me get this straight. Let, let, <laughs> let me get this straight. Because honestly, I didn't even pay attention to the part where the girl said... Uh, wait, no, I, I don't know. I... I <laughs> The girl said that Jin left that box when he brought Gone, you know, and he was just a little baby. So you're telling me for like nine, ten years ago, you made a cassette tape and you left a message saying, Hey, son, congratulations on being a hunter. Do you want to find me? Like, bro, how, how did you know that was going to happen? Like, how could you even predict that? That's not even subtle. Like, bro, you could have wrote a letter and be like, yo, dude, I, I don't know. I, I'm a terrible dad or something. I'm sorry for not being there. Something. But he, he left a cassette. Wait, what? I mean, it's not entirely that improbable. You know, heck, even the tape could be new or something. You know, maybe the girl's lying. And the father actually left this a few days ago or something. Can you imagine if he was just there like the day before God actually showed up? That, that would be mind-blowing. Or maybe the, the girl knows something more that we don't know, you know. Um, so, yeah. But I really like this episode because, again, it's developing the future of this show. You know, God's journey of finding his father and Kalua's journey as well. You know, we, we're still establish the character with his weird family and put like a question mark on it or a pause and i also like how the ind the individual himself the character himself is explaining you know, expressing like bro i don't have any goals i don't have any future foundations i don't even know what i want out of my life bro like i'm lost you know so that's kind of brilliant for a show to like confront those issues Instead of just being linear and one-dimensional and like, yeah, I can little tag with me because whatever, you know, like that's awesome. That's brilliant storytelling. That is something that I'm very impressed with this show is the way they uh, develop the characters and, and how they make the characters actually have genuine conversations. So anyway let's see what happens in the next episode hopefully we get to hear everything the cassette says if not whatever it's all good only one more episode left for the heaven arena and we move on all right cool that does it for the video like subscribe check out the patreon leave any comment in the comment section and always god bless you i'll see you soon bye